What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here and welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Now, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm actually going to be talking about my five favorite anime duos. That's right, anime duos. And when I mean anime duos, I mean one human and one animal who pretty much go around together in the anime. Whether the animal is a mentor to the human or whether the animal is just there for comic relief or if the animal is there to protect the human. I just think some of these duos are utterly amazing and I wanted to share them with you guys. And I have something special to share with you guys at the end of this video. So definitely be sure to check out and watch to the end because you'll actually, actually be able to see where I got this inspiration from. But first, let's get started with this list. Now this is in no particular order, but I hope you guys enjoy either way. So the first one I have on my list is Natsu and Happy. Now Natsu and Happy are of course from the anime fairy tale and I believe Natsu found Happy when he was a child and they've basically been together ever since. I remember when I first started watching fairy tale and I was utterly obsessed with Happy. I thought Happy was so cute. I also thought he was extremely funny. So he was a great example of comic relief. I don't know of any other better duo in fairy tale besides between Happy and Natsu. That once again, they are so cute together, and also one of my favorite duos in the fairy tale universe. The next one I have on my list is Sango and Kilala, and they're both from the anime Inuyasha. So Sango and Kilala actually have more of a like a pet owner kind of relationship, although Kilala is very much a protector of Sango. So Kilala's special or power that she has is where she can be a little itty bitty kitten or a huge big cat that they can actually ride on. I have absolutely loved Kilala ever since I started watching Inuyasha. I've actually finished the entire series, but I've always loved Kilala and was always just like, you know, I would love to have an animal like Kilala as a pet. Granted, now I do actually have my own kitten, but nevertheless, I enjoy the relationship that Songo and Kilala have. They have this awesome relationship with each other, and of course, I'm sure Songo is always protecting Kilala, and Kilala, of course, is always protecting Songo and also their other friends. Next I have on my list is Minako and Artemis. And of course, they're both from the anime Sailor Moon. Now, Artemis is definitely more of a mentor to the Sailor Scouts, but I still enjoy him a lot. Minako and Artemis's relationship is amazing and I actually really love that Artemis is more of like also kind of a comedic character. He's not serious all the time but he does have his extremely serious moments and Minako and Artemis working together it was always amazing to see. I remember when they first appeared in the Sailor Moon series and I thought it was so cool to see another cat and of course to also finally see Sailor Venus. And of course I wanted to stay in the Sailor Moon universe so of course the next I have on my list is obviously Usagi and Luna. Now, no, now their relationship is a little bit different from Minako's and Artemis's because Usagi doesn't always listen to Luna. Actually she never listens to Luna. Luna once again also is like a mentor type as well but she also at times is definitely doing a Face palm anytime Usagi does something crazy. She's also, of course, the wife or love interest of Artemis, and she's definitely the more serious one between the two, so I find it extremely funny that they partnered up Luna with Usagi because Usagi's not exactly the most serious character all the time, and Artemis with Minako, even though Minako is also not exactly like the most serious character either, but Overall, I love the relationship between Luna and between Usagi because you know Usagi is definitely going to be there for Luna and Luna obviously is always there for Usagi. So of course I can't end this list without the number one like duo that has always or will ever probably be a part of the anime and that is of course Pikachu and Ash or Ash and Pikachu, whichever way you want to phrase it. But I remember watching Pokemon as a kid and I loved seeing Ash and Pikachu together. I love the relationship that they had with each other. I love that it went beyond kind of like a pet and relationship to where they were pretty much basically best friends. Ash was always there for Pikachu. Pikachu once again was always there for Ash. And also just like every other kid, I wanted a Pikachu as a pet. Obviously that can't happen, but I'm hopeful that one day that can. But I just enjoyed seeing them always working together as a duo. 
Anytime there was a Pokemon battle, Pikachu was always right there, willing to take on any challenge alongside Ash. They were definitely a match made when it came to a pet or a animal or a companion kind of relationship with each other. Once again, Pikachu is always there for Ash. Ash is always there for Pikachu. So those are kind of the characters or the anime duos that are my favorite. And as you can see, I mostly chose a lot of duos that I felt were either like, once again, mentors to the characters or they were comedic relief in the case of Happy, the protective in the case of Kilala. And of course, like with Pikachu, him and his, you know, companion or Ash, him and Ash are pretty much just perfect with each other. They're there to support each other and that's kind of the main thing with these anime duos. So now I want to get to the part of the video where I there's a reason why I decided on this topic and that is because of something very special that a friend of mine actually sent to me and it was this. Now these are stickers and these stickers are actually a mashup between the Peanuts characters and Scooby-Doo. So basically what she did is she drew a lot of the Peanuts characters looking very much like the Scooby-Doo characters. So Snoopy looks very much like Scooby-Doo. Charlie looks like uh, uh, Shaggy. Then you have, uh, I forgot her name, but she's like Velma, Daphne, and of course you have dear old Fred. So that is pretty much the reason why I decided to talk about this topic and even better i actually have a link below her instagram you can actually check this out so what she pretty much does her name is sam she's one of my friends she's an awesome awesome cosplayer and she decided to come up with these nerd art subscription boxes so pretty much every month is a different theme and this month's theme was a mashup between snoopy obviously or the peanuts characters and also scooby-doo and that's why I decided to come up with duos is because Shaggy and Scooby are a perfect duo. They are always together. And of course, Charlie Brown and Snoopy is another duo that many of us know and love. So I figured why not talk about my favorite anime duos. So that's where this came from. So I have linked down below her Instagram. In her Instagram bio, she has a link to this subscription box. So definitely be sure to check it out. I highly recommend it. The stickers are so, so cute. And you'll probably see me uh, featuring a lot more of her work in my videos because her work is so amazing. And like I mentioned, she's an amazing cosplayer. So her Instagram alone is just the best. Like she's the best cosplayer I think I've ever seen. So definitely check her out and I hope you guys enjoy it. But that's what I have for you guys for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, I have links down below to my my uh, uh, social media. I have an Instagram, a Twitter, a blog, and I'll also leave a link to Sam's Instagram as well. So please check her out. And if you do, send her a message, let her know that Shay sent you. She'll know exactly who you're talking about. So definitely do that. And of course, I come out with videos three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. So definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know what you guys think about this video. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like, leave a comment with suggestions that you would like to see for future videos. I definitely listen to you guys' comments because a lot of time you guys come up with ideas that I would have never thought of. And sometimes it calls me to do a little bit more research. So yeah, definitely feel free to do that as well. Like I always tell you guys, stay positive, stay nerdy, and today's day and age, stay healthy and stay safe. All right, you guys.